What's up, everybody? Gamer for Life here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to, like, for the most part, securely run the dark web. Like, how to be anonymous and everything so you don't be tracked. So, you're going to need a program and a file. So, just open up Google Chrome or whatever your favorite web browser is and type in VirtualBox. This is the program you are going to be using. I will leave a link in the description to all the download pages in this video. Okay, so you'll see Windows host or whichever, sorry, whichever operating system you are running, you will download it for that. So I'm on Windows, so you would press Windows and let that file download. I already have VirtualBox downloaded, so I'm not gonna re-download it. So once you have that downloaded, then you're gonna need Hunix. And we are going, you can run Hunix just off of uh, your operating system. So if you want, you could just go to hunix.com like slash download and just download it for windows or whatever and you can run it straight from there i think it's it is much safer to run off virtual box that way if you download a file off the dark web and it has a virus it doesn't contaminate your whole it doesn't contaminate your system it all you have to do is reinstall the uh vm and it's just really safe and simple so that's what i'm going to be showing you guys how to do today so yes where it says i'll leave a link for this as well where it says please choose, press Hunix with XFCE. This is basically a user interface. So we're gonna press download. It is 1.6 gigs. It is a big download because you are downloading a operating system. So I will be right back, okay? Once it's done downloading. Okay, so Hunix has done downloading. I'm just gonna drag it to the desktop. So it, once you have Oracle VM box like downloaded, all you have to do with the Hunix FSCE file is just double click it. So it's gonna automatically open up Oracle VM box. Keep in mind, I'm gonna show you this real quick. You're not gonna have these already. I already have all the programs downloaded that are necessary to run the dark web. So I already have all this. I'm just gonna reinstall it so you guys can see. Okay, but anyways, on here, that all of this is okay just leave everything as is and press import and press agree agree <laughs> you guys most likely can hear the dog in the background he's dumb here I, I gotta let him out real quick while this imports just knocked my headset off my desk what a nice dog right okay so it is almost, or a three out of five is done. This might take quite a bit of time, depending on the speed of your computer, of course. Bam, so it's done. Wow, that was actually really fast. So you will have, uh, you won't have the one after yours. You will just have Hunix Gateway XFCE and Hunix Gateway XF, or Workstation XFCE. So what you're gonna wanna do is start, you can either press start or you could just double click always open gateway before the workstation so double click gateway just give it a second wait for this to pop up once that pops up then you can double click on workstation and then it is all automatic from there and i am going to warn you guys now you do have to run both of these the gateway is actually what connects the operating system to the tor network so you always always keep gateway open and you will not be doing anything on the gateway except well this part you're gonna have to press like understand next understand next you just have to agree to everything and just finish and press connect so tor will be enabled we don't have we're not going to be setting up any bridges or proxies in this video if you want to, uh, in a future video, I will show you guys how to do that for extra security and I might even install the operating system on something else as well Just to show you how to be the most secure while running the dark web or anything in general so once this just press next Let this completely finish on gateway before you go to workstation What I was saying earlier you will not be doing anything on gateway but running updates and that's it and just like checking to make sure you are connected to the tour network so once it's done just press finish and you could literally just minimize gateway you're never going to need it well you're still going to have to leave it open of course 
Um, I'm actually sorry, this is running a bootstrap test. So it's just verifying that you are are actually, you have a stable circuit to the Tor network. And yeah, and it's running like system updates and everything. This will happen in the background and it will take approximately like three minutes. Of course, everything depends on the speed of your computer. I uh, am lucky enough to have a higher end PC. So mine will go by pretty fast. Anyways, once it's about here, I guess you can go ahead onto the workstation now and just go through the exact same prog process. Uh, press finish, just give it a, a second because it will also like check the Tor connection, operating system updates and everything. You always have to make sure both of these are updated. Um, my instance of Hunix, I actually have not updated, so I am not really secured at the moment. So that's why everything I'm going to be showing you is going to be happening on this. So, yeah, you just got to let this finish. And it shouldn't take too long. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not going to cut anything out of this part of the video. I might just speed it up. So I just do it right now. All right, uh, we are back. So um, for now, you are gonna have to keep both instances on your screen for now. Okay, I, shit, I forgot to check that. Um, anyways, okay, I don't care. So what you are gonna do first is open up the command line on gateway. What we're gonna do is just type in CLS. Oh, okay, CLS, they removed the command, my bad. So what you are actually gonna do is sudo app-get update. Um, the actual, the password, the normal password is called change me. I will show you guys how to change that in a minute after we do all of this. So now do sudo app-get upgrade and then press Y, and this will upgrade all of the packages. You also are gonna have to do it over here. So sudo app-get, oh, update, uh, change me. Gotta let that run. Now sudo app-get upgrade, and now press Y. I will leave, um, or if, you need to at any time in this video slow it down pause it or anything because i will admit i do type pretty fast so it is kind of hard to keep up with me at typing so yeah just now just let these packages finish downloading and i'll show you guys how to change your password once it's done okay so over here it, now it will have you like do the keyword layout i'm just uh english usa so there we go installing and everything again this will take quite a while depending on the speed of your computer i didn't give you guys a warning but hunix actually does take up quite a bit of system power i have 16 gigs of ram and yeah it's using a little bit uh, i want to say it's not you okay it's not using a lot right at the moment but once you guys start actually doing a lot more inside of the programs it will be using a lot more ram and stuff so yeah alone it's only using like 10 percent of my cpu power i do have a stronger cpu i have a eight core processor and it's using that much just by running this so yeah okay so on hunix uh now that it's finished, what you're going to want to type in is sudo su. Now you're running it as root, so the admin account. From here, what you are going to want to do is type in pass wd. This is going to change the password for the root, like the super user, the administrator password. Type in whatever you want. When you type it in, it will not pop up showing that you're typing, so make sure you do get them the same. Now from here, what you want to type is 
pass wd space user this is going to change your normal user password so i will set it i'm just going to set it as the same identical thing because i'm the only one who uses this machine bam once that's done exit out a terminal on gateway and then you don't need to use gateway for now leave it open of course because you always have to leave it open i'm going to full screen right here uh i will tell you guys that the actual virtual machine is really glitchy um like the uh resolution scaling and stuff is really weird oh there we go all right um that's actually too big i gotta minimize this a little more sorry guys just give me one second and okay um that this is just annoying at this point i can't figure out which one i need let's do 1600 by 900 that should fit yeah okay now again we're gonna do the exact same thing in here pass uh sorry sudo su pass wd type in a new password uh retype it now type in pass wd space user type in a new passcode okay and there now you guys have an operating system that's completely updated and it's good to go and use and yeah so the web browser is this little icon right here it's literally called web browser you open it up yes it has all of this on right now set tour security slider to save just now i will manually go through all these settings with you guys so bam the action it's literally tor browser that is the main browser of hunix so i'm just gonna exit out of chrome real quick i just forgot one of the commands so i had to so when you click here as you can see it's downloading uh it says restart to update tor browser so it's updating always keep everything up to date every time you open up hunix i would recommend going here go to system scroll down and do hunix check that will check the Tor connection and everything. So Tor, how it works is your IP address is constantly changing. Already since we're running Hunix, your IP is masked. It'll actually tell you what your, I, your fake ID is if you hover over this one. That is my fake ID, uh, IP. You guys can go ahead and try DDoSing that IP. This is not my actual network IP, so you guys won't be able to track me or anything. So the way Tor works, every time the web page gets refreshed or you open up a new web page, your IP is jumped around the world in multiple locations and servers. So the number is constantly changing. It's literally almost impossible to track you unless there are extremely skilled hackers. Okay, anyways, enough talking. Once you're on Tor, click this little onion icon. Uh, Again, you always check for Tor browsers. If you need to, press new identity. This will restart Tor browser and it will give you a completely new set of um, IPs. So now click on the little shield. The security level will be standard. We don't want that. That is the least safe level. So press advanced security settings. It will open this up. So uh, a lot of websites will not work if you press safe disk safest so i usually just run it on safer and it works okay so yeah now you guys are ready to set you guys are set to just check out the dark web so the way you actually find pages for the dark web you look up what's called hidden wiki just look up hidden wiki as you can see the web searches do take a while because you are being jumped around the world you always have to remember that now open up web page and bam as you can see they're dot onion links i am not going to explain why they are onion okay it's just really complicated it's, it will just take up too much time so as you can see there is tons of services and this isn't even all the web pages by the way if you go into like chats with people like internet group chats you can actually find out more and like they will give you like really dark websites to access. I am going to warn you, never, ever 
open up images or random links on the dark web. 90% of the time, it is either going to be child pornography or, like, watching people getting murdered and stuff. But just to show you guys that it works, um, let's go US fake ID store. So we're just gonna middle click on it or right click and open link a new tab. And bam, you can buy, I wouldn't recommend buying anything off the dark web. Most of the stuff is illegal, just like this. You can get a fake ID for $200. It says that they're scannable. They contain original holograms and UV, microprint, laser engraving and everything. I would not recommend getting anything off the dark web because a lot of the time it is scams. So yeah, you, um, that's really it. That's all I can really tell you guys. I will show you guys on a, later on in the future if you want to learn anything else about the dark web or computers, just ask down below and I will make a video. This is how you access it and be anonymous. So the way you close out, you just exit don't save the machine state, power off the machine and press OK. Always close out of workstation before gateway. Then do the same thing for gateway. And bam, that's it. I'm actually going to remove these and delete all files real quick just cause I already have stuff and I have tons of programs and everything on here. And yeah that's it guys so if you guys did enjoy the video and you want to see more like this in the future make sure you leave a like comment down below what you would like to see and maybe if it is within my skill limit i will make a video on how to do it i've been surfing on the dark web for what month is it it is september i've probably been doing it since like july so i am still relatively new i don't know a ton but i do know how to stay secure Again, this is not the most secure way. There's tons of other ways. You can run uh you can run Tails OS, which is arguably the safest way. Either running Tails or running Hunix inside of Cubes OS, which I really haven't figured out yet because I don't have a separate machine to install cubes onto. I I do have a old I lied. I do have an old PC in the closet. Maybe I'll hook it up sometime and install Hunix onto it or cubes and then hunix i don't know i don't care if you guys did like though like i said make sure you leave a like comment and make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys all in the next video peace out